everybody, what's going on? It's Tyler here with Worship Innovation, and today I want to show you guys how to set up a live stream output from ProPresenter 7 that automatically reformats your lyrics to be a lower third so that you can easily overlay video beneath the, or you can easily overlay your lyrics on top of video. Now, in my previous ProPresenter 7 tutorial, I taught you guys how to create this awesome shape element with a video fill to kind of add an extra motion background in the uh, layer behind your uh, lyrics. If you want to check that out, please see that on our Facebook page. That looks really cool, and uh, I'm really excited to figure that out. But in order to get our live stream display set up, I'm going to need to create a new screen. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to my ProPresenter preferences. Once I'm there, I'm going to navigate over to the Screens tab and press Open Screen Configuration. Here I can see all of my output screens. You can see right now I have my main output. I have a band stage display as well as my front of house stage display. Now I'm going to create a new screen for my audience view. And I'm going to press that this plus sign which allows me to create a new output. Now here you're going to see all the outputs that are currently connected to your system. Here you can see the monitor on my MacBook Pro. Uh, and then you have the ability to send out NDI outputs, siphon outputs. If you had an SDI card on your computer, you would see SDI and everything like that. For now, I'm just going to create a new placeholder at 1920 by 1080. This is really nice because you can easily switch the outputs of these at any point in time. So right now I'm building this at home, but I can easily take this to my church and just redo the outputs when I'm there and all of my programming and everything stays the same. So I've got my placeholder and I'm going to just name this live stream. Now I'm ready to get going. So you can see here, I'm going to switch my main output to this front of house stage display. This is sort of like a multi view that shows all the different outputs. I need to go into my looks in order to get this set up properly. So I'm going to go to screens and press edit looks. Now here you can see uh, that I have a look set up for my, or I have the default look set up uh, for my show. So this allows you to change the layers and all of the displays that come out uh, from your output. So certain, you know, layers are only going to show up on certain outputs. For this live layer, I want my props and messages to be disabled. I don't want to show, well, I could show announcements if I wanted to. I'm not going to though. And really, I just want the slide information to show up. All right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a theme, which is going to be over here in lyric styles. And this theme is what's going to automatically edit and reformat my lyrics for lower thirds. So I'm going to just press the edit window to create a new theme. I'm going to go ahead and close out of looks. And uh, you know what? I really like the background that I came up with in the last video. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And now in this duplicate, I'm going to call this uh, lower third. I'm going to add that to the title. So now I know that this is a lower third and I'm going to move this down to the lower third section of the screen. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to go to my build or I'm actually going to select my background and I want to actually have a background here and I'm going to go ahead and just set up to do a chroma key by going zero and then 255 on my green slider and zero on blue. Now I have a green background with my video behind it. That's going to allow me to do a nice chroma key. Now, if you have, um, if you have the ability to do alpha keying, this will automatically output as an alpha key, uh, which is very, uh, very nice but I'm going to go ahead and just save this up so I can do a chroma key. Now this is saved. I'm going to go back to my show and I am going to go to my edit looks once again. Under presentation, I'm going to select my slides, going to go here to my white boxes and choose my lines only, all caps, blue background, lower third. 
So now, if I go to my live stream output, you can see I have my blue background automatically reformatted as a lower third. And if I switch over to my multi view that I have set up, you can see that, or actually uh, my stage display is not set up to, to show that. Um, but you can see that this is now automatically being reformatted to a lower third. And if I go to my main output, it's still the normal output. So all of my video layers and everything show up on the main output, but on the live output, it's just getting the text box with the lower third. This can be any theme that you want, so it doesn't have to be the same theme as what's going on in the main output. Uh, I could even do something like one of these lines uh, for my main output here, and you can see that that changes. Now, what I do recommend is that, you know, if you're going for the lower third, you create a version that's in the lower third section of the screen, but you really can choose any theme that you want. It can be totally separate from what's going on on the main output, or you can have it do something similar like this. But that gives you the ability to have a live stream output with lower third graphics all running from the same computer so now you don't have to have multiple computers running two different instances in ProPresenter. You can create one session for your uh, services and use this one computer to do both things.